So I want to make a video on uh, how to find x-intercepts and y-intercepts and maybe minimums and maximums. So um, what I did is I wrote in my calculator. Um, um, actually, I'll show you an easy way to go back to this too. If you want to uh, ever get to the function part, just go Control G. Oh, I took it away because I did that. But if you go Control G, it brings up your function. And then either push up or down. This is often offering me to do F2. Um, if I want to go back to F1, the one I've already done, I'd push up on my calculator. And it brings me back to the one I've done there. All right, so let's say that I want to find what the um, x-intercepts were on this graph. Um, probably the easiest way to do this is with the trace function. And you can do a few things with that trace function. So I want to show you guys that. So what you're going to do is go to Menu. And then Trace. And then Graph Trace. And from that, you can see, I'm just gonna move this guy out of the way. Oh, uh, won't let me. Okay, um, you can see that I've got this little uh, crosshairs that's kinda, I'm able to move around here. And when I pass by the x-axis here, it stops and says zero. Um, and then if you look down in the corner here, it's showing me that um, when x is equal to zero, or sorry, y is equal to zero, I should say, the second number here, x is equal to negative 0 0.826. So that would be my first zero or my first x-intercept. I'm gonna have two more. So all you have to do is just keep moving the little crosshairs around, the little spider, um, until you get close to it again and it's gonna stop at the next zero. So it says zero and it says when y is equal to zero, so it's down here, um, x is equal to negative 0.377. So that would be my other x-intercept. If I keep moving along and I go close to the last one, again, it stops there. Um, sometimes it does this, though, where it says, uh, it doesn't say zero. It says negative 1.1e to the negative 12. That means times 10 to the negative 12. And that's an extremely small number. So for all extents and purposes, that is zero. So we just just pretend that's zero. If you see e to sound like you know some big number, like 12, that's it's pretty much saying zero it's kind of just like almost glitched out or something um so our x value here though would be uh, positive 0.536 okay um if you want to find let's say i'm just going to back out so i can move my equation out of the way here um let's move that up there so i'll go back to menu trace and if i move along the graph again let's say i want to find the y-intercept it'll pop up too and say the y-intercept. So I look at this, it says, um, so x is equal to zero, so that makes sense, right? y is equal to negative 0 0.5. And that also makes sense because my equation ended in negative or minus 0 0.5, so that's perfect. Um, the next one you can do, let's say we wanted to find where the maximum of this uh, curve is. If you get close, oh. And then maybe we have to go the other way. Oh, whoop, right there, maximum. So it tells you where the maximum is sometimes too. So the maximum here is negative, so x value negative 0 0.623, uh, y value of positive 0 0.174. Okay, so that's just kind of an easy way to do that. Um, the other thing I wanna show with this trace function that's easy too is now that I'm in this setting, um, let's say I want to know what the y value was when the x value was, um, let's say, two. All I'd have to do is actually, in your calculator, just punch in the number two. So right here it's showing you when x is equal to two, and then push enter, and it's gonna show you up here. So when x is equal to two, y is equal to 29.5. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Um, I'll show you a few more things in the next lesson.